Hey you guys! In this video we will talk about the many different boards available on the market that are plug and play for the Creality Ender 3 and Ender 3 Pro. You want to know more? Then stay tuned! Hi guys, welcome back! My name is Rui and this is the Rui Raptor YouTube channel. If you want to help us out, you can by giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also help by joining our Patreon page or by clicking on any of the affiliate links posted below in the video description. So, the Creality Ender 3 is no doubt one of the most sold 3D printers on the market and also the one with more upgrades available. Between the most popular upgrades, the replacement of the stock board is one of them. With this in mind, many companies design boards dedicated for these printers, and which are meant to be plug and play. This wide variety is reflected for example when you check the config files for Marlin firmware, which include many different boards. The list of plug and play boards is quite rich, so let's check some of the most popular ones. Since the beginning and until last year, the Ender 3 and Ender 3 Pro were equipped with 8-bit boards, such as the Creality 1.1.3 and 1.1.4. These boards are very limited in terms of inputs and outputs and also programming space, which means that if you wanted to install extra hardware or add extra features in your firmware, most of the times it was not possible with these boards. So, a board upgrade was basically a must. At that time, Creality had the upgrade solution which was the board 1.1.5. This version had the same limited 8-bit microcontroller and same limited amount of inputs and outputs. The only advantage over the stock one was having the silent TMC drivers. However, since last year, these printers are being shipped with 32-bit boards, like this Creality 4.2.2 board. These new boards have a much more powerful microcontroller with much more programming space and also include extra connectors for a leveling sensor and filament runout sensor. As for the drivers, some of the first Ender 3 and Ender 3 Pro units sent with these new 32-bit boards were equipped with silent TMC drivers, but now they are all equipped with the noisy Allegro drivers. Creality has its own 32-bit upgrade board, the 4.2.7, and costs around 46 US dollars on their website. This board is basically the same as the 4.2.2, but this one is equipped with the silent TMC's 2225 drivers. And if you are a Clipper fan, you will find the config files for this board on Clipper's GitHub page. Fisect designed a couple of plug and play boards for the Ender 3 printers, called the Cheetah. They have a version with TMC's 2209 drivers and another with TMC's 2208. Both versions use the STM32F103 32 bit microcontroller. They first launched version 1.1, which is equipped with TMC's 2209 drivers and has connectors for filament detection, Z probe, RGB and power detection. A short time after, launch version 1.2 with a few corrections. This one is equipped with TMC's 2208 and the same connectors for filament sensor, Z probe, RGB and power detection. At the moment, we could only find version 1.2b on their official store and it cost around 25 US dollars. MakerBase also has plug and play boards for the Ender 3. They are the MKS Robin E3 and the E3D. Both are 32 bit boards and with basically the same connectors. The main difference is that the E3 is equipped with four TMC's 2209 drivers 
while the E3D has four slots instead, which means we can install the drivers we want. Although they only have one Z-Stepper driver, they have two Z-Stepper driver outputs connected in parallel. The E3 board costs around 27 US dollars and has connectors for RGB, Z-Probe, filament sensor and several pins for multiple display types. The E3D board is cheaper at around 17 US dollars plus shipping and has the same connectors as the E3 version. Big Tree Tech is probably the company with more plug and play boards for the Ender 3 printers. They have the SKR E3 DIP, the SKR Mini E3 version 1.2 the SKR Mini E3 version 2.0, the SKR E3 Turbo, and the SKR RRF E3. All these boards are equipped with a 32-bit microcontroller. The E3 DIP board costs around 30 US dollars and has four slots so the user can choose which drivers to install. It also has connectors for a Z-probe, TFT, and filament detection. Then we have the SKR Mini E3 version 1.2. It costs around 41 US dollars and it's equipped with four TMC's 2209 drivers and has connectors for TFT display, Z-probe, filament detector, power detection and RGB. Version 2.0 of the Mini is a little bit better. It costs around 46 US dollars and has connectors for TFT, Z-probe, filament detector, power detection, relay for power, RGB and two Z outputs connected in parallel for two Z stepper motors. We also have the detailed installation video for the Mini on our channel, so don't forget to check the video description for the link. Then we have the E3 Turbo. It costs a bit more, around 50 US dollars, but it's equipped with a 32-bit LPC1769, which is a faster microcontroller when compared with the STM32F103. It has five TMC's 2209 drivers, which allows the connection of a second extruder. It also has two Z outputs connected in parallel, to connect two Z-stepper motors. And also connectors for a TFT display, Z-probe, filament detection, power detection, relay for power, and RGB. The turbo is a little bit bigger than all the other plug-and-play boards, but the holes to secure the board match, and it will fit inside the printer without any modifications. Next is the SKR RRF E3. This one costs around 48 US dollars and it's equipped with an STM 32F407, which is a faster microcontroller. It has an ESP at the back allowing Wi Fi capability, an expansion port, and it comes with riprap firmware from stock. As for connectors, it can connect a TFT display, Z probe, filament detector power detection, relay for power, and RGB. We have a couple of videos about this board, including the detailed installation tutorial, so check them out. Last but not least, we have Mellow with also a couple of boards for the Ender 3 and Ender 3 Pro, the Fly RRF E3 and the Fly E3 Pro. Both boards are equipped with an ESP module at the back, allowing Wi-Fi capability, the expansion port, and the faster 32-bit microcontroller, the STM32F407. Both boards were also designed to work with RepRap firmware. The RRF E3 costs around 29 US dollars. It has four slots, so we can choose which driver to install, 
and a couple of Z outputs connected in series. For connectors, it can connect Mallow's TFT display, Z Pro, and PT100 thermocouplers. We also have a couple of videos about this board, including the detail installation tutorial, so check them as well. And then we have the Fly E3 Pro, which has more functions and costs around 50 US dollars. It's also possible to choose between the basic version, the PT100 version, and the K-Type version. This board can work with two extruders and therefore is equipped with five TMC's 2209 drivers. It also has a couple of Z outputs connected in series. For connectors, it can connect Mellow's TFT display, filament detector, power detection, RGB, relay for power, Z-Pro, PT100 thermocouplers, and a connector for laser. Okay, so these are the most popular plug-and-play boards for the Ender 3 and Ender 3 Pro. On our channel, you can find tutorials for most of the boards we mentioned in this video, so check the description below for all the links. And that's it, you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe the channel if you are not yet a subscriber. We will see you guys next time. Bye!